All right, next up, mm-hmm. Elden Ring. Shadow of the Turd Tree. I mean, Erd Tree. Shadow of the Erd Tree is a Elden Ring DLC. Yep. This is the base, biggest and most expensive DLC that From Software has done for a Souls-like ever. Yeah. In their history. I think it's $50 American. Wow. wow. For the DLC. That's like almost full retail price. Almost, yeah. So there's the 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 trailer just sort of shows like you know trailer ish type <laughs> things, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like enemies and whatever. There's like some they talk about the lore of the blah 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 blahs, whatever. Mm-hmm, the mm-hmm. the game is so story so convoluted, you're like yeah. whatever, you know. I mean, people do know it obviously, but yeah. it's sort of like unless you like investigate on it you're like oh i didn't know that's what it was because there's like (laughs) wait that person was their mom and sister like what is going on it's very weird um but it's coming out june 20th i'll be getting this they're adding a whole new area that's about as big as the beginning part of the game which is a lot there's a bunch of new weapons new abilities new bosses a whole bunch of malarkey in it right Mm -hmm. elden ring is the Second Souls like I ever beat. Yeah. Oh, very good. So I beat Lies of P before I beat Elden Ring. Oh. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm excited. It should be good. Uh, I'm not excited to pay full price. <laughs> yeah, that's kinda that's a lot. It better have a whole new game's worth of content in it. Well, it's gonna be a whole new regular game's worth of content, not Elden Ring's worth of content. Because no. like Elden Ring, it's like, whoa, I unlocked a whole nother area. This map is huge. And then it's like, oh, my God, there's more to the map. And oh, my God, I can go underground. And wait, there's a place in the sky, too. Oh, my God. It's just like never ending. But a lot of it is just sort of like. Not I don't want to say rinse and repeat, but it'll be like, oh, I already fought this boss. Yeah. But now there's two of them. I wouldn't call him a boss, like a mini boss. Yeah. You know? So there's a lot of that. Um, I think there's more what they call like classic dungeons in this one, which are like the bigger dungeons sort of like um how do you explain it i guess you've never played it so it's kind of hard to explain it but there'll be like a whole castle you can go into where it's like all connected interconnect kind of like dark souls where you're like i dropped the ladder and now i have a shortcut yeah there'll be more of those bigger ones rather than a lot of less of the smaller um sort of sub dungeons they had in elden ring which Mm -hmm. is where you Mm -hmm. fight these little mini bosses and stuff yeah, June twentieth. So it's not that far away, actually. No, that's pretty close. I mean, that's pretty close. The game came out like in twenty twenty one or twenty twenty, so it's been a few years for sure. They've been working on it, so I'm excited to see what it's all about. My main question is like, when can I get into it in the game? Because like, yeah. from software traditionally, they'll like one of their DLCs for Dark Souls two or something like that. It was like you have to play halfway through the game <laughs> before you get to it. But if yeah. you went too far in the game, you couldn't go to the <laughs> DLC. That's wild. So it's kind of like, fuck, where do I got to be in the game to <laughs> enter this area? Yeah. So interesting. I mean, I'm so much better at Elden Ring now mm-hmm. that I could get to through the first few bosses and stuff pretty easily. Yep. Like when I first fought them, I just was getting my ass stomped. But when I went back to it as just a new character, you kind of figured out the way the game wants you to play and you can do so much better. So I was so bad at it the first time. (laughs) Same thing with lies of P when I first time I played lies of P it took me like, I don't know, whatever, 20, 30 deaths to beat the first big boss. And then the second time after I beat it and I went back new character, I didn't get hit by the first boss. (laughs) So, you know, your skill level just goes up a lot. So yeah, for sure. I'm ready for it. Very good. I liked Elden Ring a lot. The lore is just so, so crazy. It's all up in your face. Well, it's just Only so weird. It. I mean, you know, the sort of the world was sort of helped to be re- written and realized by George R. R. Martin. So, oh. you know, he's got his touch on it. And it's just like the lore of it will be like, where did this guy come from? Oh, he's from outer space. It's an <laughs> alien. And like, what's the story with this guy? And it's just like, unless you like read and listen to everything in the game, you won't get the whole story. Yeah. And there's just so much in the game. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. And it's like a FromSoft game where it'll be like, oh, you've got a quest, but you don't actually know it's a quest because there's no quest log. <laughs> a guy will be just like, hey, if you go to this forest and you use this emote, something might happen. And you just have to remember like, oh, I'm at the forest. 
Oh, what did he say? What should I do? <laughs> and then you use yeah. the remote uh, emote and a werewolf shows up and talks to you. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like modern game development, you know, where they'll like handhold you. Yeah. Like in Tomb Raider, Rise yeah. of the Tomb Raider, where you, you hit the uh, button to like show you stuff and she'll be like, I should really grab onto that ledge and climb up there. <laughs> like, yeah. Shut the fuck up, Laura. Let me look at it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Just let me do it. Yeah. So... <laughs> Elden Ring. Is this going to make you play it? No. Oh, okay. No, not even close. Damn it. Ah. 